Welcome to the Zama Pulse. I'm your jolly host, Specialist Corey McCooch, and if our riders ever describe me as jolly again, we're going out back to have some words. Here's some news. Things are changing here at Camp Zama. Starting April 1st, Tomodachi Road will be closed to car traffic from L Street all the way to Range Road from 6 to 7 in the morning during the work week. This is because that strip of road is now designated the primary place for soldiers to PT during run days. If you're unsure of where exactly L Street and Range Road are, here's a map to help you out. See, it's that big long strip going past headquarters, past the Chow Hall, past the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force headquarters, ending up there by the school. That's a lot of road. So drivers, plan your mornings accordingly. This means drivers no longer have to worry so much about soldiers running in the middle of the road, and soldiers no longer have to worry about car exhaust causing them to fall out of runs. It's a 360 win. Now that the weather's getting ever so nice, it's not unusual to want to get out and see the sights of Japan, like these cherry blossoms all around me. And what better way to do that than on a motorcycle or a scooter? Now hold your horses there, Private Snuffy Jack. Before you can go out on a motorcycle in Japan, you've got to be certified on it first. Soldiers and civilians at Camp Zama got that opportunity recently thanks to the U.S. Army Garrison Japan Safety Office and their Motorcycle Safety Course. The two-day event saw instruction by the local Japanese police and the Army instructors as well. You can ride a lot, but the training makes you do things that you don't ordinarily do. So the drills that we put the riders through force them to work on skills that uh, they may not practice very often. You know, many times as you're riding down the road, you're using very little skill and very basic riding techniques. Um, but when an emergency occurs and you don't have the skills ready, then you may run into a problem. It was the perfect opportunity for experienced riders to shake off that winter rust and those new to the road to get a taste of what the motorcycling in Japan holds for them. Well, it's, it's a great way to start up and refresh, you know, the stopping on a dime. It's, it's important. You really got to do it. This course saw 10 students participate. You can get in on it too. Just contact the U.S. Army Garrison Japan Safety Office and they'll let you know when the next class will be. Now here's this week's community calendar. And finally, the Camp Zama Exchange held a donut eating contest to see just how many donut holes people could shove in their donut holes. Flermit the Sock was there. Flermit? <clears throat> Thanks, Steve. I'm here at the Camp Zama Exchange where they're having their first annual super duper semi annual. Uh, what is it again? Donut eating contest. Uh, dome eating contest. Donut eating contest. It was very exciting. There was a bunch of people, and by bunch I mean five, and they ate some donuts. Ah. Uh, Tell them to take a look. Let's take a look. The contestants had 30 seconds to eat as many donut holes as they could. The winner ate six of them. That's a spicy meatball. A donut. Oh, you just won a donut eating contest. What was your secret? I must know. Just eating all of it as much as I could, filling up my stomach. I love donuts. They're good. <laughs> Do you have any advice? for the children and the kids who may wish to embark in a donut eating career. If they do, then they probably want a lot of practice, filling up their stomachs, making sure that it's wide enough, and then they'll be able to do anything. So there you have it. That's all the donuts that's fit to print at the Camp Thama Exchange. Back to you, Steve. <sighs> Thanks, Flermit. Now, first off, my name's not Steve, it's Corey. And secondly, my understanding was that this donut eating contest was happening on White Day. Explain to our viewers a little bit about that, if you will. Well, Steve, they celebrate White Day as a way to say thank you for all the Europeans who came to... Now, 
Um, I don't think that's quite correct, Flarmit. Look, let's take a step back and re-examine this from a more analytical, historical point of view. Now, would you say the white frosting on the donuts had any tie into White Day whatsoever? Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, it's just a job. Yeah, he's sort of a dork. Yeah. What are you going to do? Really? I quit.